All right, YouTube. I uh, got a bit of a two-day kind of mail day here. I got some things I got in a day or two ago. Um, I'm pushing this ahead of a few videos. Um, Andrew, um, I already opened your package. I had it on video, but I pushed a lot back for the giveaway contest. But this right here, I wanted to show this off because I have a uh, a card for uh, somebody, uh, my buddy James. I picked up for him. Uh, me and him worked out kind of a trade kind of care package thing we're doing for each other. And he was a really nice Palmer Auto. He wants to give me. Um, so, uh, I figured, you know, I got some cards I'm going to give him, you know, I got some decent stuff here, but I really wanted to find something, you know, kind of extra special for him for what he likes. He's, um, he's a great guy. I'm going to put his link down in the uh, description box. Um, he's been putting some real interesting videos up. Uh, he's been doing prac breaks at, uh, random places, and, um, you know, he's a lot like me. You know, he really, you know, cherishes and likes base cards, and, you know, he ain't all about the hits, and I like seeing more of that here on YouTube. So, um, you know... Uh, first, let me show that off. This is what I picked up for him. Um, I picked up a couple other things for him, but this right here is one of the big ones. Um, he's uh, I grew up in Taiwan. Um, he's a Taiwanese guy. Uh, lives in Canada right now. But um, Chin Feng Chen um, was one of his, uh, or probably his favorite player growing up. This is Gem Mint 10 PSA uh, 2000. I believe it's Bowman Giraffe, but it might be just regular Bowman Chrome rookie card of his. Um, there's Chen Feng Chang, there's his name on the side. I believe his name means Golden Blade. So that's pretty interesting. And card number 17 of the set. PSA Perfect 10. This card is beautiful in person. I uh, can't wait to send it to you, James. So there's that. Um, I got this in the other day. I thought this card was damaged because the guy put it in a PWE. But the top loader was damaged, not the card. So you guys will probably see that video. Um, but yeah, the FanFest All-Star game, I got this like half price of what they all been going for. So really hard to get that card, actually. I got this in today. This is from Tier 1 at a three ninety nine, a Boog Pal Auto. He's really famous here in Baltimore. I know too many people don't know much about him. I think he finished his career in Cleveland the last two years. This is actually for my uh, mother-in-law's boyfriend's mother. Um, she's a huge fan of, like, the older Orioles, you know, like Robinson and the other Robinson and, you know, uh, Boog Pal, Brooks, uh, sorry, Boog Pal and Palmer and stuff like that. So uh, I got this for her. I hope she'll, she'll probably really love this card. It's a beautiful card. It's really nice to see Pal signing. Um, I got this in here. This was a two-card lot of uh, Darvish. This was a 2009 Calvi. I haven't gotten this yet. But the reason I got it is because the guy did combine shipping free. Two cards are free. You know, you pay $3 for the first one. But this 2010 BBM Fighters It's the only card I know of Darvish in the batter box. Um, I have not been able to find this anywhere, and I'm super glad that I got it now. So, yep. Um, ended up getting both of these, uh, like, two bucks a piece, and then it was, like, $3 shipping for both. So it wasn't bad. And then this right here, <clears throat> big time for me. Boom! 2009 Cinema Stars Donruss American uh, or Americana Cinema Stars uh, <clears throat> memorabilia out of 50 of Eric Roberts. Um, number two of 50. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. Um, I'm watching an autograph version of this too. I'm just hoping the guy drops the price a little bit, but if not, I'll probably just pick it up. You know, he just signs right here. Um, I think it's a sticker, actually. I'm not sure, though, but cool memorabilia piece. This is the only uh, memorabilia-only card I've seen of his, so, yeah, love it. <clears throat> so there's that. Um, I believe that's all I had. I bought another one of these cubes the other day. I did a video of one of them. Didn't really pull much out of it. Um, each one, you seem to get some pretty good rookies. You get two packs. I got an 88 Fleer and another. Everyone has an 09 OPG, but then you get a classic pack, too. Um, got some decent names out of it. I've gotten a Gary Sheffield Tops rookie out of each one of these. Plus, you get one of these holders. I really like these slide holders. These are Ultra Pro, too, by the way, so they're the top-of-the-line holders. And before I end this video, I want to show you guys. I'm not too much into shoes or anything. I normally prefer casual shoes like Adidas and whatnot. But I got these at Ross the other day really cheap. Check these out. These are high-top Adidas. Um, really nice. They're kind of shiny. Um, they got the shell head design on there. Yeah, I normally wear only skater casual shoes, but I couldn't resist these. These are like $80 shoes, maybe more, which ain't a lot for most people, but for me it's a lot. And I ended up getting them for like 20 bucks from Ross. You know, they're a little bit shorter than my size. I wear between a 9 and a 10. These are a 9.5, so actually it's kind of perfect. So these are, I walked in them today for the first time and broke them in a little bit. So beautiful shoes. I love them. Um, like I said, I'm not really into shoes, but man, I had to show these off. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the seeing that, James. Um, like I said, I got your description, uh, link in the description. Guys, go check them out.
you know, love his videos. He's just getting started. So, yeah. Um, let him know what you think, too, about his videos and stuff, because he loves the feedback. All right? Have a good one, guys. Laters.